okay so having gone through many of those tips let us see how we can use those tips I am going to look at different categories of problems okay each category of problem will have a particular way in which we have to solve I am not going to go through the complete solution methodology but look at the important clues that will help us solve the problem okay and once we have those clues uh, with us it is easy for us to realize how to solve the problem okay. Now this is one category of problems okay I have one rigid body here AB connected to two blocks one block is constrained to move along this slot and another is constrained to move along this slot okay. Usually the velocity of this is given and we need to find out the other quantities okay. How do we proceed uh, in this particular type of problem? In any of those problems it is important that we denote the fixed frame axis okay. So in this particular case the convenient one is an axis that runs through like this okay say capital X capital Y. What is known here the velocity of A is it completely known the answer is this because the velocity of block A is given and the direction is constrained along A. Now let us say we use this and write down the velocity of B how does it appear velocity of B is equal to velocity of A plus velocity of B with respect to A another way of writing is velocity of A plus omega cross r of b with respect to a either way is fine all right what is known here a is completely known what else do we know do we know r b with respect to a the answer is says let us say we have been given what is the location of this x b and y a as you know x a is equal to 0 y b is equal to 0 and this location is where we need to find out let us say sometimes this is given sometimes the angle is given okay. the length is given and the angle is given any two geometrical values are given length and angle or x a and y o a x I am sorry x b and y a okay given this the geometry of the current location remember what I am using here current location is known what is this omega omega of this it is like this what is r b with respect to a it is like this. So r b with respect to a is known omega is known the answer is no we know the direction of this do we know the direction of this the answer is yes we know the direction of this do we know the velocity of this answer is no so we do not know the velocity of this we know we do not know the speed of b we know the direction of velocity of b we know the angular the direction of angular speed but we do not know the angular speed how many unknowns are there two unknowns how many equations do I have here I have something like this V B equals V A plus omega cross R. How many equations? Remember, I can form two equations from this one with respect to capital X direction, the other is with respect to. So, if I have if I write this in terms of capital I and capital J vectors. It becomes easy for me, right? What is VB? VB is a direction. Velocity of the direction is already. I'm sorry. Direction of the velocity is already known, which is say VB, which is the value times the direction is known to be along I direction, right? Okay. Now I'm just going to assume this direction. All right. 
if I get a value that is negative for V B, then it will be in the other direction. All right. Whereas, for this I know the direction given V A is some quantity that is given to me. So, this is V A that is given and it is directed along J positive J I is already known plus omega cross R the direction of which is already known to be like this. Though I know this direction the answer is yes because I know this direction and I know k direction which means this direction is known. Okay. So, let us assume in this particular case if this is x b and this is y a what will be the direction? What will be this direction? The direction of this if this is x b and this is y a the direction of this is given by the reverse of the ratios all right. For now let me just put it as some i plus some j okay, and this is the unit direction I am going to call this as the shall I call this as n direction okay, where n direction is known. Okay. So, this is a known direction times omega times r r is known omega is what is to be found out. Okay. What, what else is known here? This has to be found out everything else is known. Now, it is a matter of supposing I write this as just as let us say y a i plus x a j divided by y a square plus x a square. Is it plus or minus? You will get it to be a minus. Okay, this is a minus direction. Okay. If this is the case, I have some i component coming here omega r times y a along i direction. There is no i direction over here v b. So, I will get v b equal omega r times y a divided by root of or let me just call this as L, okay. the total length is L, all right. Now, Y A is known, L is known, R is known, V B in terms of o omega is what we have here. But on the other hand, if I had taken the other equation, remember J component is missing over here, which means I will be devoid of B. So, the best one I could have taken to solve would have been the direction along the j direction, right? which means right left hand side is equal to 0, right, side, right hand side involves V A right, minus omega r x a divided by L. Okay. This is a quantity that I already know this is already known which means omega can be found out. Once I find out omega I can find out V B. So, I can do that way. There are simpler procedures I am just giving you an idea that is in general solvable this way. The simpler procedure is here in this particular case remember the direction of this velocity is along x direction and this is along y direction. Okay. Do I know the relationship between x b and y b? The answer is yes, right. Y b and x b are related as x b squared plus y b squared is a constant equal to L, all right. I can use that to find out the relationship between x dot a, x dot b and y dot a, right, simply by doing a differentiation, okay. And the relationships can be immediately found out, okay, as you know it will be dependent on x b, x b dot y b, y a, y a dot, y a dot is already known which means I can find out x b dot immediately. Okay. That is a simpler solution. I am just showing this because in general 
it is easier to so, uh, solve it in this particular way. Now, we looked at this particular problem in two different ways. One was writing it as V B equals V A plus omega cross R, right. The other one is looking at this, since V B direction is known, V A direction is known. This is nothing but X B dot and this is nothing but Y B dot. I am looking at only magnitudes, okay. I am sorry, Y A dot and I also have X A square plus X B square plus Y A squared is equal to L square and remember this length is maintained constant, it is a rigid body and therefore, there is a relationship between X B and Y A which can be exploited directly in order to take the derivatives. So, you have 2 X B X B dot plus 2 Y A Y A dot is equal to 0 and you can use this in order to directly get what will be this particular thing. So, that is the other method. There is also a third uh, way of doing it, okay, which is often seen in many of the textbooks. Okay. Do I know the direction of velocity of A? The answer is yes. Do I know the velocity, uh, direction of velocity of B? The answer is yes. So, let us say this is the direction of A, okay. geometrically speaking. This is the velocity, uh, velocity of A. So, I have this which is V B. Remember this is perpendicular to this line A B. Okay. So, if I have that perpendicular line drawn here, so let us say this is the line A B. If I draw the perpendicular line here, V A plus V B with respect A equals V B. All right. Now this is perpendicular. Okay. I can simply do a projection in order to find out what is V V B. Okay. It becomes very simple. If I take the projection of V B with respect to A onto V A, the components have to match. Right. That does not involve V B means I can solve for omega cross r here. Okay. That is similar to what we saw here, but looking at it as a pictorial quantity, uh, set of quantities. So, this is the method of triangle of vectors. Okay. It can be triangle of vectors or method of vectors. You use the geometry in order to solve this problem. Okay. This is a vector method and this is a geometry method. Okay. Sometimes people use this method also especially when you know the directions of each one of those uh, velocities. I know the direction of this, I know the direction of this, I know the direction of this and I know the angle. The moment I know these, it is possible for me to use triangle in order to solve the problem. For example, if I know the angle of this, I need to, let us say I have the angle of this, then I can say V A by sin of this angle is equal to V B by sin of this angle is equal to V B with respect to A by sin 90. Okay. So, I can get easily quantities that I need. All right. Usually, these are the ways in which people solve the problem.